Lindsay Sims, and we're here for the first time ever, as the title suggests, with Spacey Presents Mixed Reviews. Um, so, this was based on the poll that I put up for you guys and said, do you want to go down our standard Otome romance visual novel, or you want to go way out in left field and do something cringy and awful, and do you want to just see the darker side of the shit? And you guys, thank you all, really wanted to see Cringy. So, yay, here we are. Um, I'm very excited about this because, as you know, I've talked about it before. Um, I have a bunch of games that are just legit have mixed reviews on Steam because they just sound atrocious. That's what this is. So, well, this is new, but what I will say first and foremost for mixed reviews, and I'm going to try to give you this warning uh, every single time we play one of these games, when you see mixed reviews, that is because literally, it's called that because on Steam, these games literally have mixed reviews. They're not reviewed positive or negative. They are mixed. So if you go on Steam, you can read some of the reviews. I highly suggest it. It's freaking hilariously fun. Um, uh, because some people obviously rate it highly. Oh, I love it. And And sometimes the positive reviews are like, this is terrible. I love it which is what we're hoping to get out of here. And then other people are literally serious with, oh my God, this is just appalling. Okay, so fair warning. This is appalling. Okay, based on the reviews, one of my favorite that I ever saw about this game, as you can see, it's Office Lovers, Forbidden Romance, right? One of my favorite reviews of this game, which made me go, I really want to play this, is because I swear to God, I think they literally only said like, the only part I remember, so they could have had a long-winded review, I don't remember. All I remember was, welcome to sexual harassment the game. And I went, this is going to be awful and we're going to play it. Um, so any mixed review game, we have to take with a grain of salt. So this is a PSA for you. If you cannot handle inappropriate conduct, if you can't handle, like really, really douchey guys who are probably really, really, really rapey and just god fucking awful. Please don't watch this because this is probably what's going to happen. Based on reviews for a lot of these games, based on especially this one, every single guy in this game is a cringy motherfucking asshole. And all I can see is objections to like, what is wrong with her? These guys all suck. And that's why we're playing this. So you have to go into these games with a... These guys are all going to suck. They're all going to be douchebags. I'm probably going to hate myself for this. Because um, otherwise, if you go into it thinking, we're going to have a nice romantic game, maybe someone will be nice, you're going to be sorely disappointed and you're not going to be able to handle it. So this is the dark side of scene. I just want to get that out there because I'll be straight up honest with you. We know for me playing games, I do not, I'm not down with the lolly boy thing. I'm like, I, I, I know that they could have to be our age, but when they look much younger than us, that creeps me out a little. When guys are seriously, seriously creepy, rapey, it's like, no, dude, that is not okay. But you have to go into this with a grain of salt and go, okay, I know they're going to be terrible. We're just going to just take it as what it is. It's a game. It's not real. If you're triggered by any kind of content like that, please don't watch this. I'm not going to be responsible for anyone being like, I can't believe that you played this game. This is going to be awful. These guys are creepy. They're grabby. They're rapey. And we are probably going to go between the, I can't fucking believe anybody thinks women like this and the, yeah, whatever. This is what we're here for. Um, Cause you know, you know we play the games like, hello, Code Realize. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that, if you haven't watched that, what are you doing? Go watch that. Um, but we know St. Germain got a little stabby, right? And we were like, what the fuck? That's not okay. We'll be fine with it, though. You know what I mean? It's not okay, but it's okay. Every one of these guys is a Toma, though. For a minute. Every single one of them is going to be a Toma, and I'm going to be like, this is not fucking okay. We'll not accept it. Who knows? I might. I don't know. Um, I haven't played the game, obviously, um, but I just want everyone to be aware this is going to be cringy, this is going to be bad, and jokes will be made about the inappropriate content because it's probably the only way I will be able to get through it without curling up in a ball and crying that there are men writing these games who think all women want to be sexually assaulted. Because um, I just feel like that's going to happen a lot. I wanted to go through and kind of point out some of the reviews. I do not suggest... Um, checking out the gallery on the Steam page where people like post their screenshots. But there is one person who posts a lot of screenshots and just has the best fucking comments. So if you want to spoil a little bit of the game and some of this, it, it's not really spoiling the plot because I'm going to tell you 
they're just creepy, ra rapey, grabby, and douchey. Like, uh, Rimmer probably going to be annoyed and angry, and I might literally throw my computer in rage, or I might just laugh it off. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but um, I would definitely read a lot of the reviews. I possibly would check out the, you know, um, the page where they have like the forums and stuff like that, where you can go and you can see like where people post pictures because some of the comments on pictures are some of the best fucking things I've ever, and I died. I was like, this makes me want to play this game um, because I went through my mixed review games. I wrote them all down and I went through, there was a couple I was thinking about playing. Um, and I was like, well, this one, this one, or this one, I, I had three, but this one just struck me as every single guy is irredeemably a douchebag. And that's why I wanted to play this. So some people went through, so, um, I'm trying to find, like, I wish I had highlighted some of the reviews, but a lot of people, like, it's fun because oh, I wanted I wish I had found some of the reviews like highlighted specific ones that were um yes the music is repetitive someone's saying that like here you go wait this was a not recommended one the too long didn't read version. I'm just going to read this because it starts off great. If you want to fantasize about several men sexually harassing, assaulting you at work, and you don't care if the story and characters are bland, then this is your jam. If the thought makes you uncomfortable, even if they're handsome or otherwise your type, then absolutely do not. That is the perfect PSA. Look. If you were okay with accepting that they're going to get handsy gropey, and I'm pretty sure office sex happens in this game, if I've seen some of the like, screen caps that people wrote uh in there if if that is if you're like e this is gonna be awful and you're down for that this is then this is your jam and that's what we're here for we're all here for that awful if you really can't handle creepy weirdness like that and you're gonna be i can't this is just wrong please don't please don't watch this don't get triggered okay i'm not responsible for that so just this is your fair warning and i will I would love to put like a trigger warning up on every fucking episode of this. And maybe I'll do it. I don't know. I probably won't. This is your warning. Don't watch any of this. Okay. This is your warning. Um, and every time we play a mixed reviews game, I will do this PSA. Like just FYI, mixed reviews for this reason. Um, and I'll try to be better about picking up reviews that are just fun as fuck. But I'm going to start this. So the story... Uh, of the game is the same as Office Lovers for the Smartphone. Okay, never mind. Hold on. What is Office Lovers? It's a romance game. I don't think it's a romance game. <laughs> romance should be in quotes here, but it's not. Where you can experience the thrill of an office romance where you have to keep your relationship a secret. What will happen when you're alone with him in the conference room? I'm gonna guess someone gets assaulted based on the reviews. Anyway, story. You're an employee at a major cosmetics company. And you just got selected to be a member of a team in charge of developing a new product in time for Christmas. While working together with your co-workers on the project, project, they also help you learn things about yourself. The guys. Kenizu Mahiro, a designer who joined the company at the same time as you. Always smiling, but aggressive when it comes to love. Rape, i.e. rapey. Okay. <laughs> Kaido Ryo, a hotshot from the PR department. Takes his job seriously, but also has a sadistic side. I'm pretty sure. I think that guy might actually be the glasses asshole. And he might actually be not like where he's nice inside. He might legit be a motherfucking asshole. The glasses guy is pretty cute in this is all I'm saying. But he's going to be a douche like the rest of them. Saijo Sadayoshi used to be your boss when you worked in sales. Gets very jealous and possessive. Read. Kind of rapey. <laughs> Yoga Akihito. Head of the development department. I hope I'm saying the names right, but whatever, you know me. A team leader, but also the quiet, mysterious type. Doesn't sound like a dick. Probably a raging dick. Otori Harayuki. The young CEO of the company you work at. Smart and calculating. This is great. You should play com uh, confidential office romance. This is not confidential office romance. It's office lovers. Uh, if you want to fall in love with a handsome guy. You like romance novels, romance manga, and romantic TV dramas. You like romance games. You want to know what it's like to have a secret romance with a coworker. Notice it doesn't say anything in there about you want to be sexually assaulted, but it sounds like that's what's going to go on anyway. So 
So here we are, 10 minutes in. You've got your warning. We've read the background of the game. Um, unfortunately, it forced me to go into the prologue. I only opened the screen. I didn't read anything in order to be able to go to the settings because the music is motherfucking loud. And you can't lower it. I had to lower my settings um, in my recording software. So I'm going to apologize now if it's still a little weird and I'm too quiet. I'm going to test it after. I tested it a million times. But um, what I also noticed is that when action closed down, like I closed it by accident, and it came back, it automatically put my volumes back up to 100%. So I'm really hoping it doesn't do that because I will forget every time I load this game. And then all of a sudden it's literally going to be like, here's me talking and here's the music. It's, it's like fucking jarring. Um... But at the same time, I don't want to turn it off completely because then it's like dead silence, but it might be better. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go in. And I luckily, thank God we could change our character's name. Woohoo! So we are Spacey Sims. It was Jane Smith. You're fucking welcome. I should have named us Spacey Sparkles the Unicorn or something. I'd say leave a suggestion, but by the time you guys see this, I'll have been halfway through recording. Also, by the way, I'm recording this... Um, probably two weeks before you see it. And just so you know, because I want to feel special, this episode, I'm actually kind of excited, first of all, that we are doing mixed reviews. Yay! We're going to play the trashiest game ever. One of them, probably. Maybe not. I mean, I have... I'm, Hoonie Pop is probably the trashiest game ever, and that's like, you know. But for women, this is as close as we're going to get, right? Because we don't play like little mini games to get men naked. Oh, it's unfortunate. We should have those. But anyway, um, because <laughs> we would play that and Spacey would be like, why are we doing this? Anyway, um, but today that you're seeing it, not today I'm recording it, the day this is going up, unless something happens, is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I'm fucking old. And we need this office romance. Anyway, prologue. So yay! Spacey, all right, finally done. I collected the marketing materials I had been preparing and headed to my boss's office. It had been two years since I started working at Viola Inc., a huge cosmetics company. Oh, I also, fair warning, they're all really douchey about her appearance. and like, well, you think you've had better looks because of well, a cosmetics company. So I, that was that's just comes up in a lot of people's reviews, which I find amusing. Anyway, I worked in marketing, but my dream was to work on planning and developing new products. Even if only in the realm of sales, I wanted to help our products succeed. As a result, the marketing department requests that these products... Yeah, okay, listen. Enough about that. Can you make some copies of this and take them to Saijo? Saijo? Yeah. Yes, sir. My previous boss had a good grasp on what was going on, but this one is just lazy. Plus, all he ever asks me to do is busy work. Because you're... Oh, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Sexism in the workplace. Right here. All he asked me to do is busy work, because I'm a girl. I'm just, I'm already starting with this one. But work is work. I was still getting a salary, so I couldn't be too picky. Yeah, no, just enjoy the busy work, bitch, because when they put too much on your shoulders, it gets stressful. Like, wee, just spin around on that damn chair and have some fun. I made a bunch of copies of the document, collated them, and stapled each set. Why did he print this out when everyone could just look at it on their computer? I know, right? He needs to get with the times. I have no idea who's talking. Oh. While I was working next to the copier, I suddenly noticed there was someone standing next to me. Um, sorry, who are you again? This must be the new guy. I had a feeling he joined the company at the same time as me, but I couldn't remember his name. I was just assuming that it's either new guy or it would be old boss. I don't remember who's who. Because I haven't seen, I don't remember all their faces. Um, so this is new dude. I'm a hero. Kunizu Mahito. A hero. Oh, we were in the same group back in orientation. Normal voice, as he's getting right now. Oh, right. Orientation was a pretty long time ago, but it was starting to come back to me. <laughs> Remember me now? Get over yourself, dude. <laughs> I've already I have the wall. I have the wall up for this. I think so. You're a designer? Yep. So you did remember me after all. Cocky. I was worried I'd been abandoned in some corner of your mind or something. What? I just met you. I just met you and this is crazy. But I'm going to have sex with you on this copier and you're probably going to have my baby. Like, I mean, I just don't know what's going on with this guy. It 
it's this game. I already know. So again, the wall is up. I'm prepared. Like, oops, I had totally forgotten he existed. <laughs> that was fabulous. He'd probably be hurt if I told him that, though. So I decided to keep that to myself. No, say it, girl. Anyways, that's a mound of copies you got there. Let me help you out with that. Yeah, because I need a strong man to help me carry these copies. But this is my job. I'd feel bad making you help. Don't worry about that. It'll go faster with two people doing it, right? Mahito swiped a stack of documents and started stapling them. Mahito? Mahito? Mahiro? I didn't know why he was doing this for me, but honestly, it was a big help. Thanks. Huh. Is this a survey we're sending out to the stores that carry our products? Oh, that's just something I made by myself. It's not official or anything. Wow, this is pretty well made. I always knew you had potential. Always. But we barely know each other. I might know more about you. I might know more about you thank you th than you think. Tim. Tim got in here. Wow, look at that. I didn't know he worked for them too. I might know more about you than you think. I have my eye on you for a while because that's not creepy. Huh. What do you mean, stalker? This is great already. <laughs> He's a stalker. To be honest, you've been on my mind ever since orientation. We got put in different departments, though, so I've never really gotten a chance to talk to you. I was pretty lucky that I found you here like this. Oh, God. Mahiro leaned forward a little and flashed me an incredibly charming smile. Oh, good luck. She's going to drop her panties in a second. Doesn't he know that that's not fair? You're not allowed to give me butterflies at work. Oh, hey, Mahiro. Try to pick up another girl. Why don't you give it a rest? A couple women who were passing by called out to Mihiro. Hey, it's not like that. And why are you making it look like I hit a girls all the time? Because you probably do, stalker. <laughs> no, he only stalks us. You're going to give her the wrong idea. Oh, really? I wonder about that. The two women snickered as they walked off. Sorry about that. They're in my section. I think their jokes go too far sometimes, though. So you want to, like, side with them and be like, that's so mean that they're picking on you, but you've probably tried to stick your dick in everything in this place. I'm just saying it's the game, right? It's not It's not me being an asshole. It's the game has set me up for this. Yeah, well, if you are trying to pick me up, you'd have better luck with someone else. Look, I swear I'm not just trying to pick you up. Man, that was terrible timing. I was being completely serious when I said I was glad to see you and that I wanted to talk. Here, listen. You want to develop new products, right? Huh? You're trying to gather data to see if it might lead to a new product idea. That's what the survey is for, right? Mahiro picked up the survey. No! I grabbed it back from him. I was starting to get a little annoyed. I did want to join the development team when I entered the company, but this is different. Right now I'm work I work in marketing, so I'm just doing what I can within the bounds of my job. That's all. Something you could do in sales, huh? Maybe pay more attention to your appearance. <laughs> You're pretty cute, but you shouldn't frown so much. Wrinkles don't suit you. And the instant douche award goes to this guy. You should try smiling, honey. If you slap my ass before you walk off, I'm going to count this game as an A+. So far, you're making this amazing. <laughs> like... This is great already. This is great. I feel the atrocity. Like, what? If you went into this thinking it was going to be real, you're like, whoa, wait. Are you insulting my looks after... What the fuck, dude? You're a stalker and you're calling me, like, ugly because I frown? No, this is great. I'm down for this. It's going to get so much worse. This is tame. This is tame so far. It's going to get horrible and worse. And oh my god, I don't know how we're going to do this, but it's going to be fun. Mahiro poked my forehead. What? No one asked you. Thank god she's got some stones. She's not going to. She's going to bend over backwards for them, no doubt. But I grabbed my documents and turned to start walking away. But thanks for helping me. See ya. I ran off, not able to stand being there a second longer. This is why, though, her like, what the fuck kind of attitude when he like bangs her on the coffee, ma on the coffee, on the copier later is going to be like, what, but what, what happened to your balls? But just as I was heading into the conference room, thump. 
I hadn't been paying enough attention to where I was going, I ran right into someone. Oh god, is it Glasses Asshole? Please be Glasses Asshole. The documents I'd been carrying went flying. Of course they did. I I'm sorry! I know you were in a hurry, but you shouldn't run inside. Ah, that is Glasses Asshole! Yay! <laughs> he's cute. I like Glasses Asshole. But he's gonna be a raging fucking cock weasel like the rest of them. We're gonna swear a lot in this game, if you haven't noticed. I swear a lot anyway, but it's gonna be worse because these are really gonna get my rage boner going with how douchey they are, but I'm kind of excited for it. I'm kind of excited because Glass's asshole is legit not even gonna be marshmallowy at all in this game. I'm just prepared for it. If this is not the biggest douche of a game, I'm gonna be so disappointed with the negative reviews. I really am. So looking forward to this. I can't even tell you. Oh my god. Oh, it's Rio. I mean, his name is fucking Rio. <laughs> that actually shouldn't be that douchey of a name, because then I'm just thinking, like, Gem. Rio is my boyfriend! So 80s, but anyway. The man I had bumped into was Kaido Rio, one of the higher-ups of the PR department. Kaido? Yeah. Sorry. I crouched down and started picking up the scattered papers. Mr. Kaido. Just call him Rio. Unexpectedly, Mr. Kaido silently helped me get the documents back together. That should be all of them. Hmm, what's this? Oh, that's just something I made. You made this? He's like shocked, like, you made this? Yes, sir. I thought it might provide some useful data for the development team. What's your name? Spacey Sims, sir. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> I was gonna leave it Spacey Smith, and then I went, now nah, I'm just gonna go Spacey Sims. <laughs> it's even funnier when it's in the game like this. I usually leave the last name and I just change the first one, but I thought of it after I did. I'm like, that's going to be weird. My name's going to be Spacey Sims in the game, but there you go. Oh, so you're Spacey. Mr. Kaido readjusted his glasses with his pointer finger and then peered into my face, and that's how you know they're on. Pushes your glasses up with your pointer finger. I've heard good things about you. Looks like you're motivated, too. See? You're like, oh, look, he's actually not a douchebag. He's going to turn out to be one, though. They're all douchebags. But you're a failure when it comes to sales. And there we go. A uh, failure, sir? I'm sorry. I don't follow. I felt that I put a lot of effort into sales and that my results had improved accordingly. You don't see. Mr. Kaido sighed put his hand on my chin and tilted my head upwards. Oh, okay. Well, inappropriate touching. Hmm. The foundation is there, but an unpolished gemstone is just a rock. For an employee who sells makeup to have such a weak sense of aesthetics is disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming. I didn't know when. I knew they were all... I know every single one of them says something about her looks, but like... <gasps> Oh my god, she's just getting bitch slapped with this shit today. It's great. Mr. Kaido handed me the papers he had picked up and walked away, leaving me speechless. I was sure that I knew more about our products than anyone else in the company. Was that not enough? Just that my old boss entered the conference room. Sorry I'm late. I got caught I got caught up talking with my boss. He just seems like a hippie, like I don't know. No, it's fine. I just got here myself. His name was Saijo Sadayoshi. I used to work under him when I worked in sales. Yeah. I bet he wants you to work under him. He had a good attitude about work and took the time to listen to those who worked under him. Well, let's get started. I don't know what voice to give them yet. Like, except for Glasses Douchebag always gets the standard Glasses Douchebag voice. Sure. I laid out the documents on the desk. Wasn't it hard making all of these by yourself? Wasn't it hard making all these by yourself? <laughs> I want to have fun with some of them. He does. He looks like a hippie, doesn't he? He doesn't look like our boss. He totally looks like a hippie. Okay, now he looks a little more normal, but like... Sorry, I would have helped you if I had known. It's okay. Mahiro gave me a hand, actually. Mahiro? You mean... Kiniz Kunizu. Kinizu? Kunizu, Mahiro. Uh, the designer that joined around the same time as you? Yeah. It was amazing that he could remember all that just from hearing a name. I see. I wonder. That means he's noticed you, too. 
Mr. Saijo muttered something under his breath and fell silent. Oh god, now he's getting creepy clingy. I wonder what he was thinking about, don't ask. Um, Mr. Saijo? Uh, sorry about that, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get this over with. Okay? The two of us hurriedly finished prepping for the upcoming meeting. I think that should be about it. Wow, look at the time. You wanna grab lunch? If you don't mind me joining you, sure. It's been a while since I chatted with Mr. Saijo. It should be fun. Saijo. Heard. How are things going? Getting along with your new boss, all right? I'm doing what I can, but I'm not sure if things are going well or not. I don't think we communicate as well as I did with you. I see. Actually, I feel the same way. I thought things were a lot smoother when I was with you. More than anything, it was just fun. Mr. Saijo smiled as if he didn't have a care in the world. Seeing him smile had a calming effect on me. I wish I could work with him again. Maybe I should ask the CEO directly if we can be put back together. Ha <laughs> uh, You shouldn't say something like that lightly. A direct appeal is a serious matter. I'm not sure who it is. A low, rumbly voice signaled the arrival of... Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hyoga! It was the manager of the product development department, Hyoga Akita... Akihito... Bird, no, don't wear my microphone. Are the two of you heading out to eat? I can't do, I can like, he's gotta have more, he said a grumbly voice, but he's like, of course there's glasses, asshole, and then they're, are you two heading out to eat? I can't, we'll, we'll work on them, I'll work on them. He's gotta have like a, yeah, broody voice anyway. Yeah, would you like to join us? Hmm, sure, why not? Mr. Hyoga glanced at me. Oh yeah, did you know she originally wanted to join the development team? Mr. Saijo, why are you telling him that? Shocked, I looked at Mr. S like, Saijo. But when you say it about Saijo, Saijo. To see him flashing me a smile that said, This is your chance. No? Oh. Mr. Hyoga stared at me as if appraising a new product. What's your name? It took everything I had not to crack under the pressure. Spacey Sims, sir. I looked at Mr. Hyoga straight in the eyes as I answered, Bert, I love you, but don't chew on my microphone cord either. Ah, uh, you're the one who used to be in sales. Mr. Hyoga's gaze was intense, but I was determined not to give up. Have any good ideas? Huh? Oh yeah, I've tried collecting some data by conducting surveys. I proposed some ideas for seasonal items and products that would work well with current trends. Also, I talked about some compact products that could be sold at a reasonable price. Not compact, compact products, yeah. And it's easy to come up with an idea. Not actually making it is different. It's not that simple. I've seen some shit. He looks like a grizzled cop, is what he looks like. Like, even still, I think it's worth looking into. You got guts talking to someone in my position like that. But I like the look in your eyes. Yeah, I bet you do. Revolutionary ideas cannot be born without the willingness to challenge norms. At the very least, looks like you meet the minimum requirements. Did that mean he accepted what I had to say? If so... Um, these are some documents from the marketing department. You can use them if you like. I tried to look confident as I presented the documents I had just finished preparing that I brought with me to lunch. Maybe this would be the chance I had been waiting for. Why would you bring them to lunch with you? Hey, Spacey! Mr. Saijo had, somewhat wor had a somewhat worried look on his face. Perhaps I was acting out of line. But if you don't act on a chance when it presents itself, it may never come again. I'll take a look at him. Well, this was a surprise. I hadn't expected him to actually take them. I only showed them to him because I thought I had nothing to lose. Thank you, sir. I nodded out of respect. You don't have to thank me. It's just work. The whole time during lunch, Mr. Hyoga was poring over the documents and didn't say a word. When he finished, he said he'd hold on to them and return to the office. Awkward lunch. I swear, he's always busy. I can't believe he actually accepted those papers, though. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. Right. You did a good job on them, though. Did you make those by yourself? Yeah, I just wanted to do what I can to help. I just want to do whatever I can to help. I don't want to be useless. This is what's going to get you fucked on the conference room table. Wait. Huh. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The boss just blew me off when I tried showing him, though. Wow, really? <laughs> that's stupid. If I were him, I wouldn't just put your effort to waste like that. Yeah, because you're creepy and you love me. It's weird. Thanks. Hearing you say that makes me feel like it was worth my time. 
While we were talking, a jet black limousine pulled up in front of us. Oh, CEO dude? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, cocky, arrogant bastard. When the door opened, the CEO stepped out. Welcome back, sir. Sir. The two of us greeted the CEO. His name was Otori Haruyuki. Haruyuki. Yeah, Otori Haruyuki. He was only 35 years old. Under his management, the company had grown immensely. Hey there. <laughs> like, sup? <laughs> I'm totally a bro. <laughs> like, I can't do a vo I got. I, I, I have the image of him in my head like, I am like the best. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, there you go. You should have an attitude like that. Okay, all right, all right. We're going to have some fun with the voices here. <laughs> no, we're not. They all sound the same. Whatever. I'd never seen him and seen him this close before. He felt different from the normal employees somehow. Yeah, he's the fucking CEO and he makes more money in a fucking year than you will ever make in your life. Yo, oh, Sariyashi. The deal went through. Really? That's fantastic. One of them is still considering, but I think they'll accept it. I wonder if this was an important conversation. I decided to take a step back. Hey, Spacey. Getting used to your new job. Huh? Oh, um, yes. You know me? I hadn't expected the CEO to actually talk to me, and I stumbled over my response. The head of the entire company was standing in front of me and knows your name. Just thinking about that was enough to make me nervous. I don't think we've talked like this since the final round of interviews before we hired you. Oh, so you interviewed with him. Interesting. Man, that was a while ago. Smiling cheerfully, Mr. Otori placed his hand on my cheek and looked into my eyes. What is with the inappropriate touching? Your eyes haven't changed at all. I can still sense that same determination in them. S sir I had no idea what to say and ended up averting my eyes. Oh, sorry. You're just so cute that I couldn't stop myself. Mr. Otori took his hand away from my face. That's not the right voice for him, no. I'm feeling it's not like... It's too, it's too, like, super old guy voice. Like, <laughs> you're just too cute. Okay, we're going to give him a little bit of the, like, Lupin-esque flair, I guess. I suppose someone in my position can't just be touching female employees whenever I want. Um, That's the purpose of this game, so yes, you can, but no, you shouldn't be. Will you forgive me? Um, sure. <laughs> Thanks. You're a good kid. Spacey, huh? Do you still have the same passion you had back then? Yes, I do. Back then, it was like two weeks ago, wasn't it? Good. I'm expecting good things out of you. Yes, sir. Mr. Otori patted me on the shoulder, and I reflexively jumped a little. After exchanging a few words with Mr. Saijo, Mr. Otori walked off. Oh, Tori. That's what you are. You're a Tori. Tori. Oh, Tori. He's a bird. Phew. I was talking to my bird. I don't wasn't talking to you guys in that voice. I'm sorry. Were you nervous? Yeah, a bit. That's pretty amazing that he remembers your face, though. I'm sure he just has a good memory. No, that's not it. He only takes interest in people he sees potential in. This is like a Christian Grey situation, isn't it? Really? Well, that makes me feel kind of good. Only one more. Hey, Spacey. We might actually get to work together again. Mr. Saijo smiled, but it seemed like there was a hidden meaning behind his words. A few days later... Spacey! Oh, hi, Mr. Seijo. If you're looking for my boss, he just went to HR. Actually, I was looking for you. Wait, me? Yeah, the CEO wants to talk to you. CEO? I wondered what he wanted. I could answer that, but it would be inappropriate, so I'm not gonna... A little nervous about what was going to happen, I knocked on the door to the CEO's office. I can't wait till we get some choices. I, I'm not doing this with a guide. I just want to see what the fuck happens. Um, so... Excuse me. As soon as I opened the door... Hey, Spacey! I haven't seen you in forever! A young man with a baby face came running up to me. Ken, what are you doing here? His name was Ibuki Kentaro. You can't date him, and I think people are like, Why can't you have him? Because I think he might actually be the only decent human being in this game. We went to the same college, but he was younger than me. But I thought he was working as a freelance makeup artist. Why was he here? Oh, no, that... Yeah. I wanted to see again, so I just decided to make a little visit. Wuh... I invited him here. He's essential for this new project. I can't get their voices. I'm sorry. We'll figure it out. Glasses asshole totally has the voice. I know his voice, like, right? 
None of, none of them have the gruff voice. Well, maybe the one guy. Yeah, he seems a little gruff. Seen some shit. Yeah. I'm not like super, like the Impey voice, but like, I've seen some shit, yeah. A little gruffer. Like I've been smoking for a little while. And I used to be a cop. Now I work at a makeup company. <laughs> you know, brown suit guy who said, you know, whatever. And like, he doesn't matter because he's like, whatever. And then like, of course, our boss, our old boss, who's like, wants to get in our pants, gonna be like, yeah, he's the happy go lucky guy. Yeah, everything's great. Um, but sort still sort of normal, but I can't quite figure out his voice. Should he have the loop and flare voice? Because somebody's got to have that voice. Like, I just think this could be the start of something fabulous. I'm going to do naughty things to you. Yeah, we can give him that voice. It'll work. It's not the best voice for him, but we got to, like, vary them a little bit somehow. And it's, it's just all I can do right now. What project? I looked around the room and realized that there were a number of high-profile people here. Mahito, the designer... Mr. Kaido from PR. Mr. Saijo from sales. Mr. Hyoga from the development team. And Ken, the makeup artist. Honestly, I was, wasn't too sure why I had been called here. Oh. Ooh, we're starting a large-scale project, including the development of some new products. Yeah, okay, I can do that for him. It'll work. And so, I gathered everyone necessary to make it a success. Wait, are you saying that I'm one of those people? Of course! You're a member of this new project. I was a member on this project? I was going to work with all these people? Oh, God. This was all so sudden that I had a hard time believing it. Let's knock this one out of the park! I'm sure we'll be able to make some great products together. Looks like we're going to work together again after all. Okay, we got to fix a different voice for him. But Ken, Mahiro, and Mr. Saijo all came up to me. If you're working on my team... I'll need you to understand that I don't accept failure. It'll be interesting to see how far you'll get. Mr. Hyoga and Mr. Kaido watched on, a little removed from the rest of us. They still have the same voice, and the other two have the same voice. It's fine, whatever. Not that big of a deal. We don't really have to put that much effort into this one. The whole point is the inappropriateness. I'm really going to get to work together on a project with all these amazing people. Oh, God. I didn't know what to say. This was like a dream come true for me. Oh, this is just the prologue. I had always hoped I'd get to work with you again. Looks like my dream was granted. Me too. I've always wanted to try working with you. Looks like we'll be together forever now. This is my chance. Okay, wow. Put it away. Mahiro muttered something under his breath. Huh? Did you say something? Uh, no, it's nothing. Hey, Spacey. I don't know about this company. So can you help me out? Well, sure. Feel free to ask me about anything. Thanks. You've always been really nice. Ken took my hand in his and held it tightly. I don't know about this. Mr. Otori walked over to us. Come on, Ibuki, cut it out. Office romance is prohibited here. Huh? Really? Oh. Ken's shoulder slumped. Oh, God. Office romance is prohibited here, but it's okay. We're going to get fucked in every goddamn place in this company. Wait, do we really have a rule like that? That's the first I've heard of that rule. And he's looking at me like, because I want to fuck you so hard in the conference room. I can't wait till the debauchery starts, guys. I am so prepared for this. Yeah, are you free to love anyone you want? You guys don't know how to play along, do you? Well then, how about we do this? No romance within this project. What? Huh? Why? <laughs> They're like... Wait. If she doesn't clue in... No romance in this project. Most people are like, that's fine. It's just Spacey and a bunch of dudes. And everyone's like, what? No! What were we going to do? Have a big orgy? Jesus, guys! It's fucking hilarious. Because the fate of our company rests on this project. I can't have you fight flirting on the job. Mr. Artori smiled softly. That's the rule. A love affair between members could seriously endanger the project. Oh, God, this is going to be great. Uh, okay, Kunizu. Mahiro sunk into silence when Mr. Otori looked at him. And that goes for the rest of you, too. Mr. Otori put his hand on my shoulder. No matter how cute Spacey is, keep your hands off. Got it? I am literally just a sex pawn right now. This is great. C cute Where did that come from? And as for you, Spacey, you can't fall for anyone but me, okay? Um... I didn't really get what this was about, but I just decided to nod. This is a big project. Give it your all. 
Yes, sir, I'll do my best. No matter what it takes, I'll make sure this project succeeds. Character introductions. Oh, perfect. Mahiro Kunizu, a designer who joined the company at the same time as you. Always smiling, but aggressive when it comes to love. We already read this, but it's okay. Sadayoshi Saijo, used to be your boss when you worked in sales. Gets very jealous and possessive. He doesn't look like he'd be the jealous and possessive type, but that's okay. Haruyu Haruyuki Otori, the young CEO of the company you work at. Smart and calculating and a little shady, like they're all. Ryo Kaido, a hotshot from the PR department, takes his job seriously, but also has a sadistic side. He's going to be my favorite. Because, one, he's the glasses character. The glasses character is always my favorite. I can't help it. I don't know. i got to think for glasses, guys. And these guys, I don't know what it is. It just happened. Um, But also the sadistic thing. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a raging son of a bitch. It's going to be amazing. Akihito Hioga, head of the development department, a team leader, but also the quiet, mysterious type. Oh, look at that. It's the beginning of a secret romance. When you're dating on the job, everything has to be kept under wraps. You're an employee at Viola, a major corporation in the cosmetics industry. While you've been devoting your time to working on new makeup, your own makeup has suffered as a result. Oh my god, even the game is insulting you. Needless to say, love is nowhere in sight. Suddenly, you're assigned to work on a new project that's been assigned to develop a new product in time for Christmas. While working alongside her superiors on the team, an energetic co-worker... And an energetic coworker, you start to get more in touch with your femininity. <gasps> oh, look! Oh! A designer who joined the company at the same time as you. On the surface, he's a cheerful guy who's easy to get along with and doesn't hide his feelings. But it turns out that when it comes to love, he takes the offensive. And his target is you. This is like the dating game right now. Ryo Kaido, a hot shot from the PR department. He is serious about his work and leaves a good first impression on people. Seemingly a good guy all around. But as you get to know him, you find he can be a strikingly be strikingly blunt in his criticism and likes watching people squirm. Although he seems easy to get along with at first, that's just a facade. A master at changing personalities in the blink of an eye. Oh my god, this is great. Sadayoshi Saijo. Your former boss and the leader of the sales department has a calm disposition, but is good at his job and is able to approach the situation from the other person's point of view. But beneath that calm surface lies a jealous and possessive heart. Get too close, and before you know it, you'll be trapped in his cage. Oh, 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 that's like legit Toma right there, like a cage, like a legit cage? Capable of manipulating people to get what he wants without batting an eye. It's so great, but like usually it's like, he likes long walks on the beach and holding hands. And it's like, he's going to lock your ass in a cage. And this one's probably going to rape you while insulting you. I mean, this is just fucking amazing. I love it. Akihito Hioga, the leader of the project you've been assigned to, and also the head of the development department. Harsh on others, and it's hard to tell what he's thinking. Doesn't say a single word more than needs to be said. Although he's arrogant and likes making people sweat with his sharp words, he has a tendency to surround himself only with people he deems are his type. Haruyuki Otori, despite his young age, managed to become the CEO of a large corporation. Considerably famous for his business prowess and youth, his name often makes it in headlines. He leaves a lasting impression on people due to his charming smile and handsome looks. Has a tendency to ask unreasonable things of his employees all while wearing a smile. He was the one who ordered... Yoga Akihito to create a new team to develop a new product in time for Christmas. This is amazing. Can we just continue? Oh, I guess that's our save, so we go main story. That was the prologue. You're welcome. <gasps> oh! Oh! Pick a character! Oh, guys. I don't know. Alright, hold on. We need, like, a... Guys, I don't have a... A, a... a die right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna unplug my computer for a second. We're gonna go get a dice and we're gonna roll that shit. I gotta, I gotta walk. We gotta walk with the computer. I I dropped the computer watch. Okay, hold on. I don't know where my dice are. I have a 20-sided die somewhere for, like, sim stuff when we do it, but it's not my thing. Okay, hold on. Let's gonna see. 
whatever number we'll get, we'll just start here and we'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we'll do. So that's how we're going to do it. Unless we get a one, two, three, four, or five. And then we'll just go in that character route and then we'll just do it that way. Um, and then you guys can leave your suggestions on who we do next, what order, or, you know, whatever. Or we can just do Mahiru because Mahiru. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're going with our old boss. Okay. We're going with the old boss, guys. I had to actually count that. Does that fucking stupid? Like five, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm fucking dumb. Anyway, hold on. I gotta get back to my spot. I gotta get back to my spot and plug my computer in and not trip over my fucking headset cord. I am so fucking hungry right now. It's not even funny. Anyway, there we go. I'm like, I don't know how this works. I thought like, like the character selection. I'm like, I like, I clicked on it before, but I didn't get the dude. I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. This is amazing. Main volume. Chapter one. Best end. Good end. Oh, we're probably going to get a bad end. All right. So chapter one, confidential information. I'm so disturbed. I, we probably should have just started with Mahiro, Mahiro just because he's like the first guy in the list, but I rolled the dice. This is what we're doing. If you have a favorite, tell me who you want to do next. Um, I don't know. Again, though, it really depends on how fast these go because I don't think this is really that long. Some people... Well, some people have played like almost... 20 hours. I mean, okay, sure. Anyway, I could hardly believe my luck. I had been selected to join the development team on a huge project to make new products. Still in disbelief, sitting among the other members in the meeting room felt like a dream. I'd like to draw your attention to the papers I handed to you earlier. As you can see, our goal is to develop new products for the holiday season. Mr. Hyoga, the project leader, looked carefully into each one of our eyes. Competition will most certainly be releasing all sorts of products for Christmas. Oh, also, hashtag pause. T for timeout. Um, this is not a voiced game, so if you're playing Spacey Go, I don't know how this is gonna work with that just because these are gonna be all sorts these are gonna be excessive versions of the tropes, so um, but also we can't get the six degrees of code realized. Uh so give that one to yourselves as a free spot, because there's no potential. To have that because it's not a voiced game so it's not like we would have been able to get that so i'll give that to you as a freebie because you know if it was a voiced game and it was like well nobody's in it then you don't get that we don't get that but you can have that point because you know there's, there's there's no option so anyway so it's essential that we put out something that'll bring us out on top if we were doing a christmas package it would need special colors and classy packaging Without something else to draw in the eyes of passing women, it would surely fail. First, break up- Oh, that's him. First, break him into teams and start to brainstorm for ideas. I want to work on lipstick with Spacey. Mr. Saijo spoke up without missing a beat. Why would he want to group with me? Are you sure you're okay with working with me? I was surprised enough to be selected for this project, let alone picked as a partner. Despite my second guessing his choice, Mr. Saijo turned towards me with a smile. I was thinking you might be a good partner. Th thank you. The sudden turn of events made me feel confused and pleased at the same time. Since she has worked with me already, I think we'll have no problem together. If you say so, I'll leave you two in charge of lipstick then. Okay, I'll do my best to keep up with... Oh, that's me. Okay, I'll do my best to keep up with Mr. Saijo. It looked like we'd be working together again. It was reassuring for me, but I would have to go the extra mile to not let him down. Damn, he scooped her up before I could. I wanted to work with her too. They're not children anymore. Suck it up. Mr. Kaido uh, sighed with disappointment while shaking his head. I was a bit worried whether or not I was fit to work on this project. However, most of that worry vanished when I heard the others arguing over pairing with me. It's me and you again. She's like, oh, they want to work with me because my work prowess. No, because they want to stick it in you. Like, God, this is amazing. I love this. I can't wait till it gets really bad. I'm just, it's like, I'm hyped up for the awful. Yeah, I can't wait to start. I know how hard of a worker you are. He'll be a valuable asset to our team. Okay, I'll be straight up honest. 
Aside, they've had they've said some crude and appropriate things so far, like makeup and stuff. And you're like, what the fuck? It's not terrible. Like, it's not. I wouldn't say it's the quality that we're used to, like Code Realize quality, where like the story and the plot are like fucking amazing, right? I wouldn't say that it's got a complicated like, but it's not where you're reading it like, oh my god, people don't talk like this. It doesn't sound like a robot wrote it. Like it like, it's not horrible. Um, and it, it's but it's sixteen dollars on Steam, and I know I didn't pay sixteen dollars for it. I'll be straight up honest with you. Um, because again, I got this in the Dogenzaka Lab like bundle. Um. Because I think I had gotten one or two of the games, a separate, but I got the bundle, which came with, like, pretty much all the fucking games. Um, half of them that were mixed reviews because I wanted to play mixed reviews games. Um, and they were, like, really fucking cheap. It was on, like, I think it was, like, 80%. It was some ridiculous percentage off, and I don't really think it cost me that much money at all. Considering the fact that, again, the games range from $10 to, like, $30. I did not pay full price for any of them. Um... So it's, like, worth it when it's on, like, the summer sale, which is usually, like, really fucking good. Is the summer sale really fucking good? Yeah, I think the summer sale is the best one. Um, but yeah. <laughs> like, oh, God, this is great. Anyway. He had high expectations of me. I didn't want to let him down. I gave him a nod of confidence. Oh, whoop. Oh, whoop. Oh. Is that what I hit? No, what did I hit? What's this? Oh, that's that. Oh. I don't know why I thought I was over here, but I was here? Oh, weird. But now we know where that button is. Anyway, uh, since I was working with Mr. Saijo, I couldn't afford to slack off. The first thing I did was look at our past ten years of cosmetics from the holiday seasons. Then, I look at, looked at the cosmetics and sales figures from our co competition. It looks like the sales of lip gloss have been trending lately. I was immersed in my work when I felt someone pat me on the back. You're really at it, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a job. I'm not just here to look pretty. Am I here just to look pretty? Because I've been working really hard. Why is there a plant sticking out of the middle of the table? That seems really weird. And, like, could you imagine, like, sitting here, and then someone's here, and you're like, I can't see you. Or, like, this person is, like, trying to look at... Fucking pointless. <laughs> we're just going to focus on this when it gets really cringy. If we're in this room, we're going to be like, look at the plant, guys! Just remember the awkward plant! You have to find these things, because, like... They don't just left their fucking beer here. I'm sure it's his coffee or a soda, but... Oh, Mr. Saijo, you surprised me. I hadn't noticed him approach, nor the fact that the office was already empty. I had no idea it was almost midnight. What is wrong with you? I'm sitting there at work like, Oh, God, it's only 1.30. Can I go home yet? Damn. You haven't changed a bit. You always used to get so into work that you lost track of time. I mean, you are not getting paid for this. You're not hourly, honey. Sorry, it's a bad habit of mine. Yeah. Don't be. I think it's an amazing talent to be able to concentrate that well. I don't know. If anything, it's something I admire in you. Really? My heart skipped a beat when he said he admired me. He probably hadn't meant anything, meant anything by it, but it still surprised me. What do you say we stop for the day and get something to eat? That would be great. But by then it'll be too late. We'll miss the last train. You don't remember that I get to work by car. Oh, God, he's going to lock us in his car and kidnap us. But it isn't a big deal. I can drive you home like I used to. I don't know. My instincts tell me to be like, I don't know. But I'm going to go with, okay. We want to get the worst. We want to do the, okay. We're going to Darkwing Duck this. Okay, so let's get dangerous. So in this game, my my spidey sensors are being like, yeah, I don't know, buddy. Just the way this game has hyped this up is like, I don't know. But we're here for the cringe. We're here for the awful. So we're going to be like, that sounds awesome. Atta girl. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Cut that out. I'm not a kid anymore. And then how do you want me to treat you like a woman? Oh, God. That's a tough question. Was there a hidden meaning in his words? My heart twitched in excitement. Already? I was pretty sure he was only teasing me, though. Aren't you coming? 
I'm not even going to comment. I never said I would. <laughs> Listening to what your boss says is one of your duties, you know. All right, all right, I'm coming. That's better. For as kind and as gentle as he looked, Mr. Saijo sure had a pushy side to his personality. He seemed more worse now than when I knew him before. I really almost want her... Yeah, okay, wait, wait, I'm in this... You're in this relationship and I want her to be at the point like, Oh God, what happened? Oh God, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. Oh no! <laughs> but she's not. She's gonna be like, This is amazing! And you're gonna be like, No, no honey, it's not. Some past incidents that happened due to his personality came to mind. Oh, interesting. Last night, Mr. Saijo bought me dinner and even drove me home. Oh god, now he's gonna expect sex. I shouldn't get used to him driving me around, though. It wasn't fair to him. You got a minute. I do, but first, it, thanks for yesterday. No problem. I had a good time. Mr. Saijo was a very nice person and close to my ideal boss. Thanks for putting together all the materials for the makeup. That makes my life easier. We literally put all the things together. He's done nothing. I just want to point that out. That's what it sounds like. I'm good at doing that sort of thing. Anyway... I took a look at it and came up with something. He brought up the figures on my computer. Looking at the same monitor, our faces were so close that I couldn't concentrate. I was trying to regain my composure when I noticed him staring at my lips. Hey, it looks like lip gloss sales are killing the market for lipstick. Yeah, we need a concept that brings the focus back to lipstick if we're going to succeed. Why don't you do lip gloss like everything else? Because that's what everyone's doing, so... I think men have a tendency to like women who wear lipstick. <laughs> I agree, I have no idea. I agree! But no. Um, I feel like in this sense, she would probably be like, I have no idea, because she really has no idea what men like. And she doesn't wear lipstick, so she clearly has no idea. She can't be like, I agree, that's why I wear lipstick. No, she's like, I agree. That's why I don't wear lipstick. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like the, I know I want to go down the Darkwing Duck answer and be like, I totally agree with you. But I, I need, we need to be realistic with her at this. And th this one, we need to be realistic with. It's, we're going to change every single time one of these comes up. But sure, let's jump in his car. Sure, let's go to dinner with him. Yeah, let's have sex on the conference table. That's what we're going to do. But in this case, like, I have no idea. Sorry, I'm a woman, so I have no clue. That's true. I imagine it's somehow connected to the male. It's somehow connected to the male imagination. We all want lipstick rings around our dicks. What? Never mind. <laughs> I'm waiting for the debauchery. It's kind of interesting if you think about it like that. By the way, do you use lipstick or lip gloss? What? Neither. I just use lip balm. How come? I'm too busy and don't have the time to make myself pretty. What a waste. Though it's probably safer that way. What a waste. My choice. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Just talking to myself. Really? Yeah. Occasionally he had moments like this where I had no idea what he was talking about. I love that she's Derpy McDerpison. We got our work cut out for us. In just three days we have to present our concept. I'll schedule the meeting room for us as soon as it opens up. Please do. There's only one meeting room? God, that sucks. Mr. Saijo quickly left without another word. With lipstick on my mind, I thought to myself it might be a good idea to use it once in a while. I should have the time to do it, no matter how busy my schedule was. Oh, God, now he's putting it in her head. She's like, look, I don't wear lipstick because I'm just, like, not that girl. And he's like, you should wear lip. It's a shame you should wear it because, you know, whatever. And she's like, I should wear lipstick. Oh, no, the Stockholm Syndrome setting in early. We haven't even gotten boned. I wonder what Mr. Saijo would say if he saw me wearing it. Why was I so concerned about what he thought anyway? Using the meeting room was great because we could work without any distractions. I was working on creating a new concept for lipstick with Mr. Saijo sitting across from me. Oh, I should have my hero design us something that women can use to seduce men. Hey, it has some sort of temptress theme to it. We could call it something like Little Devil. Wait, was that me that said that? Oh! Oh my god, I'm the one that came up with that. I was literally going to facepalm it, like, that whole, the whole entire idea, and that was me saying it. Oh god, I'm going to facepalm her. Okay, anyway, we should have Mihiro design us something that women can use to seduce men. It would have some sort of temptress theme to it. We could call it something like Little Devil. Oh. 
Like the temptress thing. You're like, temptress is cool. That sounds nice. Temptress, but little devil. Oh, I don't know. I like it. With a catchy name like that, it would be easy to advertise as well. That's true. It would be nice to have something along the lines of alluring in the name too. Alluring little devil. Maybe. How does enticement sound? There's also charming. Anyway, the final project product should feel similar to lip gloss and have a similar appearance. That's clever. It would sell just as good as gloss and maybe start a new trend. I should fucking be doing this job because I was totally thinking that, like, we need to bring it back to lipstick. Why don't you have, like, a nice glossy lipstick? Not that that hasn't been done before because I own some of those and those are your, the best. Like, it's like a lipstick, but it's a gloss. It's a gloss, but it's a lipstick as well. You gotta have a little bit of everything. You gotta have your normal lipstick. You gotta have your glosses. You gotta have your lipstick gloss thing and you gotta have your mats that are like literally like you put them on and you're like if I drink anything I'm gonna have to use baby wipes or like makeup remover to get the shit off and like reapply it's gonna be like a fucking mess you know like the forever on lipstick that's not actually forever on anyway hopefully we got more and more worked up as our concept began to take form <laughs> I think we got a winner yeah we both smiled and nodded in approval his voice is going all sorts of off the rails but the scene reminded me of working with him like in the old days. I enjoyed it. It's always fun to work with you. I was thinking the same thing. We're good at bouncing ideas off each other. I guess you could say we have compatible personalities. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out so we could work together again. I never realized how enjoyable it was to work with you until you left. That's why I promised myself never to make the same mistake again. What mistake? Mistake of letting you leave me. Oh god, he's blushing. Huh? Was I wrong? N no, but that means a lot to me. Was he still talking about work or something more personal? Probably more personal because he's creepy. Also, this perspective is totally wrong. Because why? Doesn't it look weird? It'd be like... The... Like, the bases of the chairs over here look so fucked up. And is the table on wheels? table must be on wheels it's so fucking weird i can't it's driving me crazy okay this is what ha so in the conference room we're gonna be like look at the weird legs on the table chairs guys oh when the weird shit happens in this room good i like the fact that there's always something weird in the background we can focus on when it gets cringy uh thinking about the deeper meaning my face began to blush mr saijo stared at me and looked like he wanted to say something i like it when you blush you got a pretty mouth suddenly the meeting room door opened how is everything? Doing well. Very. I've been blessed with an extraordinary helper. No, no. I'm lucky to have such a great boss. It sounds like you're doing so well that you won't even need the pep rally. What pep rally? Is this fucking high school? I was hoping to have one to kick off the project and wish for our success. The date and time is, well, whenever I feel like it. Keep your ears and eyes open. Mr. Otori left us with that as the meeting room door closed behind him. Who schedules an event on a whim anyhow, rich fucking bastards? Anyway, um, so I'm going to wrap this part up here. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, we haven't gotten too cringy, but we've gotten enough. We've gotten enough cringe that we're like, are you fucking kidding me? So anyway, yeah. I'm going to wrap this part up here and we'll hopefully get even more cringy as we go. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.